Okay, you guys, I'm super excited, but also a bit bummed out. I just got an email uh, to speak at a conference at Niagara on the Lake, and it sounds amazing, but I can't go because I'm gonna be launching my collection with Melanie Ald. So I was just sitting here on set brainstorming, and I was thinking, you know what? What if Team Jilly went without me? This is like a total first timer. We've never done this before. I don't even know if the conference would go for it or if the girls would go for it, but the girls are brilliant. I feel like they would have so much to offer at this conference um, and it'd be fun. First, first time for Team Jilly. So I'm gonna talk to the girls, talk to the conference, see what they say, and let's see if we can make this happen. Okay, I'm just waiting for my cab. We are on our way to the airport because us girls are going to speak at the Atelier Conference in Niagara-on-the-Lake at Ravine Vineyard. Jill was actually asked to come and speak this weekend, but unfortunately she's at the Melanie Ald event in Vancouver, so she was unable to go. So she asked if the team could come instead. So we've got Tori, Shay, Mindy, and myself, and we're all gonna be speaking on behalf of the brand. We're all really nervous. None of us are super confident public speakers. I think Tori probably is, but us three girls aren't. So we're really excited. It is almost time to go. Got my coffee, I'm dressed, just waiting on the taxi. And I are at White Spot having our breakfast <laughs> champions. Yes, Some that's coffee. bacon on mine. I'm the only one who eats meat on this team. <laughs> <laughs> and we're reviewing our questions for the panel and our palms are sweating. <laughs> Awesome. Good morning. morning. You ready? I'm ready. I was getting a bit nervous that you guys weren't going to make it through security. Oh. I was like, are you alive? Mindy, where are we off to? Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> we are off to Calgary and then making our way to Toronto. I know, no, not at all. All the gals just working on their phones while standing up and computer. Waltz. Yeah. Waltz. I'm playing Candy Crush. Does this hat make me look like a tourist? <laughs> we are officially in Niagara on the Lake and we're so excited to be here. It's a night before the conference. We just got back from dinner. It's, um, what time is it here? Like, it's midnight. It's midnight here. It feels like it's about four in the morning though because we've been traveling all day when in reality it's only 10 after nine our time. But anyway, we had dinner, we reviewed our questions, and now we're just looking forward to tomorrow. We're so excited slash freaking out and a little bit worried that we're gonna totally gap out on stage, but hopefully the wine will cure that. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's midnight. The clock just turned midnight, which means that it's way past this mama's bedtime, even in BC time. Is that nine o'clock? Sounds about right. All right, I am very excited tomorrow to meet a whole bunch of new people and to listen to some of my colleagues chat about health and wellness and of course Team Jilly. I always love hearing those beauties talk. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest right now, I'm really just excited about seeing the back of my Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 up early for yoga this morning. Get our zen on before the camera time. Did you? 
Oh my god, I couldn't stop thinking about it at night. I'm going through all the questions in my head and just answering them. Mm. Like, right. Stop thinking. <laughs> How did it go this morning? It was awesome. I had so much fun. Nice. I'm ready for a nap, though. Ready for a nap? <laughs> yeah. Or that wine. What's that wine? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we can pop that bubbly. Yeah. Oh Get my drunk. god. Yeah, it's a <laughs> good idea. <laughs> really great stumbling on yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. We yeah. just all drool up there. Uh, yeah. Who's Julian Harris? Yeah. <laughs> Google her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're just about to review our questions again. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're all a bit nervous. Don't be. But I think it'll be good. I'm feeling better today. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, the, the energy is so awesome. Yeah. The women are just like super pumped and happy yeah. just to be there and everything looks so beautiful. It's all set in this like Oh, against the vineyard, you'll see. It's just yeah. there's like an airstream trailer that serves coffee. What? And oh no, it's it's hundred percent all of your jam. Like you're gonna you're gonna Amazing. love it. Not coffee. <laughs> okay, we're all just freaking out here. Oh my god. So stressed. I'm, I'm really rambling nervous. like a little idiot. I'm trying to breathe. Shay's a mute. Mackenzie's just staring and giggling. <laughs> We're all very nervous, surprisingly. Well, I guess that's not surprising, but I do think we'd be this nervous. I know. <sighs> when have I ever not ate? No, we can't even eat. All right, I am ready for our presentation, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous. Um, the girls are getting ready. I forgot to take a video of me getting ready, but um, maybe tomorrow. Anyways, wish us luck. It's our first ever presentation for Team Jilly, and I'm so excited. Um, Jilly, wish you were here. How are we all feeling? Good, I think now that we're here. Yeah. I'm How the are you opposite. Doing? Are I'm you? like, look at all the cars. <laughs> guys it is a Thursday afternoon I am filming in Vancouver uh, for love it or list it and then I've got my event at Melanie all tonight but I am getting all kinds of messages from the team Jilly and they are about to go on stage at the Atelier Collective um, conference I think they're nervous but I think they're gonna do awesome I'm so excited for them and I hope they nail it so I am waiting for more videos I'm hoping somebody films it and uh, I hope they do great so, good luck, girls. Sorry, um, you did mention, of course, about your, um, obviously, your love for food, and we've already talked to you on the panel earlier today, but how do you incorporate that with Jillian? How do you make that so that, um, you know, that's part of her brand as well? Yeah, well, I think I, I, I mean, I know Jillian quite well. There's that. But also, she will send me, you know, pictures of something that she likes, you know, the other day she sent me a Pinterest picture of a crepe cake. It was a, you'll see it, some version of it on her blog soon, I'm sure. But, um, you know, she just fires off images. Um, Mackenzie also does recipe development. So, you know, that's something that she does as well. But, yeah, I, I think, I, I mean, again, I know her. And um, also she has started to be more plant-based, which I think I touched on earlier. So it kind of narrows the scope a little bit of, of what she's looking for. And I do know that... Um, you know, food can be quite colorful. Um, some food looks like a rainbow just, you know, <laughs> appeared. Uh, and that's kind of not her thing. So I try to make food, when I make it for her, as pretty as possible. Some things are prettier than others, as you can imagine. So that's also a priority. If I, if I want it to land on her Instagram feed, it has to look pretty. Otherwise, it won't make the cut. <laughs> I can still ask you a couple more about your Instagram. I mean, you've got so many followers on Instagram. Is there a special tactic that you guys have? Is there a special yeah. You know, strategy? Yeah, so there's a few things. So Jill always says, imagine your Instagram feed as your home. So you would never invite 800,000 people into your home if it's dirty, if you don't have any wine. Obviously, we all need wine. And it's, if it's not looking pretty. So those first nine photos in your feed, you want them looking tip top because that's what people are going to be drawn to. That's what's gonna make them want to follow you. And also, Jillian also likes to color scheme her stuff. So you'll notice if lilacs are in season that we start incorporating purple into her feed. Um, she also likes to mix up the content. So never will she put two flat lays side by side because that just makes it 
make her feel weird about it, which it looks kind of bizarre too when you look at the feed. So you want, um, for example, a fashion photo, a selfie, an organic photo, um, a food photo, anything. So just like mix it up a bit. Don't just have all the same stuff in a row. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. yeah. Give us three tips, three things that we can do for all the ones that are just, we're working by ourselves doing our best to keep up with social media. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the first tip that came to mind is that you understand the vision of your brand so well that you can communicate it to anybody that asks. Like in two seconds, you should be able to tell them exactly what your goals are, what your vision for the brand is. And then finding people who are aligned in that, like really, truly passionate because everyone sitting here, I think in the industry that we're in, you have to have that passion. You really have to have that drive beyond just it being a job to get to where you want to be. So that would be my advice. I would say just continue to be personable and humble. So the bigger you grow, respond to the direct messages that people send you, even if you don't know who they are. There's a fly buzzing around me. Um, it's really important and it builds trust and people love engaging with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, when people comment on your photos, just make sure to give them a response back. I think that it, that goes so far. And I feel like the bigger people grow, the less that happens. Um, some people are really, really good at it and I think that shines through with their success. I was going to say, um, become friends with another influencer that's similar to you or someone that's in the same sort of ballpark as you and learn from them, like get inspiration from them. What are they doing differently than you? Um, I feel like you both can support each other and help each other. And um, we have so many great collaborations with other like-minded influencers and we learn so much from so many others. Uh, in one of our earlier panels, uh, we discussed stepping out of your comfort zone and the importance of personal growth. And I'm just wondering, have you experienced anything in working with um, the Jilly brand? Have you, have you ever, you know, basically um, challenge, challenged you in, in a totally new way than you're used to? Every day. Every yeah. day, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we all as individuals, I mean, we want to be good at something when we first try it. Nobody wants to suck at anything. You want to be naturally great at everything, but no one becomes an expert overnight at anything. I mean, even before I started shooting photography, I always said, I'm not creative. I'm not creative. I, I cannot work a camera. I always used it on the auto setting. And it wasn't until I made that decision, like, no, I, I'm going to learn this. It's a skill. I think we're all gifted in, in different ways. Like, we all have these gifts that we're given as people, but it's what you do with those gifts. Your talent's really only as good as the work you put into it, right? So it's taking those gifts and going like, okay, what am I naturally kind of drawn to and good at? Working your ass off to, to master it. I've worked with a lot of different influencers, and I have to say that you guys really handle your brand partnerships beautifully. Can you speak a little bit more to people who are looking to work with brands like myself about how you go about delivering on the, the exchange and how you handle the brands so that the brands feel valued? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it has to be a good fit. So if you don't have a home and you don't have blinds, there's no point in partnering with someone like Q Design. But Q Design is such a perfect fit for us and for Jillian. Um, their blinds are beautiful. And um, we recently uh, sat down at the beginning of the year. We used to say yes to every partnership, even if it wasn't a good fit. And we started getting really um, bad criticism, negative comments. And we were like, what is happening? Why does everyone hate these sponsored posts? How can we make this work? And um, we kind of determined in this checklist of questions like who Jillian is, what her values are, and if a partnership, if a brand reaches out to us and it checks all those boxes, sure, we'll take that on. But if it doesn't check one of those boxes, we won't take it on because we know it's not going to be a good fit for us or for the brand. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Paul. Thank you so thank much, you. Paul. Thanks. We're all done. Yay. Oh my God. How do you guys feel? Yes. I feel oh, amazing yeah. and exhausted and happy. Yeah. <laughs> like everything. Today was so good. Yeah. Oh my god. So it was so awesome. epic. How do you feel, Mindy? Awesome. You have a baguette in your hand. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> Not messing around. Yeah. And Shay and Tori. Just wonderful. Tori's taking a photo. Me taking a photo. This is weird. 
Okay, I think the girls are long done their uh, appearance on stage. I hope they had an amazing time. I am just getting to Nordstrom for the launch of our Melanie Auld collection. Uh, I've got a couple hours here and it looks like there's already some people here, so it's so exciting. And uh, then I'm going home to see my Leo. And then the girls are coming home so I can see them. My leg is complete. Yeah. <laughs> We're starving. We didn't really eat anything at lunch, and this pizza is unreal. Is it really? Yeah, Tori, you want a piece? Like salty. I want your. Oh, you do. Yeah, I'm my own. Um, the lovely Paul at Ravine Vineyard sent us home with what's that? Pizzas for the road before dinner. So great. <laughs> now that they're gonna say sober. <laughs> sober. <laughs> Not too. How you do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. I feel like I was so impressed with you guys up there. I was, I was so impressed, impressed with you. you. No. <laughs> guys. <laughs> you guys did great. Yeah. I feel like this is gonna explode because I was running with it. It's gonna poke someone's eye out. Um, Ready? Out. Yeah. I'm not gonna like shoot it off. No. Well, that, what's the fun in that? I feel like it's gonna do some damage. I mean, no, did it's you not. Just do it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. It's gonna knock someone's. It's gonna put a hole in something. I'm gonna try. Ready? Do it. Yeah. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's <laughs> not dramatic. And Con <laughs> continuing the celebrations. I took off my bra, so that's embarrassing. Well, it looks like I have as well. <laughs> <laughs> We barely made our flight. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We're back. So cool. And we are freaking exhausted. It was the bumpiest flight. Wow. I look more square. I mean, these <laughs> hasn't come yet. <laughs> I feel like they're proper. see if it's coming though. Are you hungry and tired? So We've been eating anything in like six hours. Bye! All right, I just got home from the airport, had to charge my phone so that I could do this video. I look like a little bit of a drowned rat. I've been up since 4 a.m. My luggage is nicely sitting over in the corner, um, but I just wanted to um, let you guys know how thankful I was for all of you that attended the atelier, that commented on all of our posts, um, everyone that supported us. Thank you, Jillian, for allowing us this opportunity. And to the atelier, you guys, thank you for believing in us and trusting in us. I am going into this work week feeling super, super empowered and excited and ready to conquer the world. <laughs>